Um, hello, everyone. Um, bonjour. Uh, so I'm going to present the lightning talk, alias Terraform equals Tofu drops down. So now what? Uh, this is me. I'm I'm Chief Architect from Seal. Uh, how do we meet Open Tofu? So at Seal, we build an open source software, which is called Warus. It helps to build application abstraction that works for multi cloud. And we also use IEC technologies like Terraform to uh, for resource provisioning. Uh, so that allowing uh, operation team to make a progressive transition to developer self-service. We have verified and integrated with OpenTOFU uh, from the first stable release. And as the title of this talk suggests, the moving to OpenTOFU is pretty straightforward uh, when, when you, you are familiar with Terraform. So uh, it is simple from the day one. Now, what's the next move? Uh, a few months passed since the first release, so let me do a quick wrap up. I think uh, OpenTOFU is performing well thanks to the maintenance team. So the transparency is commendable. Uh, we have weekly updates, we have TSC uh, summaries, so users can easily follow or know the progress and direction of the project. And we have hundreds of commits per month, which uh, I would say is comparable to Terraform. The documentation is also thorough, uh, including compatibility promises, migration guides, and many other useful resources. Um, if, if, if I were to ask uh, why users should switch to OpenTOEFL, uh, license must be one of the top factors, but can we expect more? Here, we refers to both users and the community. So, uh, OpenTOFU is actually a newly bound project, uh, but on the other hand, it also has a long, uh, in inherits a long history from its predecessor, uh, which is Terraform. So, I think. Uh, from my opinion, I think we can learn from the past before planning for the future. Uh, so how do we do that? Let's uh, look at some numbers, uh, maybe some fun numbers. Uh, all are from public sources. Uh, for example, we can collect all those Terraform GitHub issues, comments, events uh, to, to help us uh, provide some of the ideas. And we mainly focus on the enhancement and proposal issues and ignore those bugs because uh, they are less relevant. So the analysis is also open source. So if you are interested in reviewing or reproducing, you can follow this uh, linked repo to, to, to take a look. Now let's start with some easy ones. So what's the oldest yet open issue in enhancement issue in Terraform. Actually, that is uh, open at 10, 2016, which is uh, about supporting the Docker provision. It actually might not be, a criti it might not be critical in our workflows, uh, but it indicates that uh, some issues there might, uh, might, might last for a long period before it, it is be resolved. So what is the highest number of the plus one reaction among those issues? The number is 1,038. Uh, it's about uh, using variables in Terraform backend configuration block. <laughs> so I think uh, in a nutshell, uh, it, it means uh, we want the configuration language uh, more flexible. And we can see that this is an important topic in the following statistics. Now, if we draw a line chart uh, about the enhancement issues of Terraform that is opened or closed per month, we can see this, uh, this trend. So we can see that Terraform is actually a successful project. Uh, as, as time goes, the community uh, opening issues uh, continues to grow. 
uh, so we can see on the top right side, actually this is the time when it changed the license. Uh, we can see the license change causes a little bit drop of the number, but actually it doesn't affect much of the overall change. But if we, <coughs> if we ag aggregate those numbers by year, we can also see another trend. So this is the enhancement issues open and closed by year. We can see that the opened enhancement issues uh, uh, is decreasing. I think that might be what we call uh, technology iteration curve uh, as the technology, uh, as, as platform itself goes mature. mature. So if we try to tag all those uh, enhancement issues by their domain or topic, we can also uh, try to find uh, in which area users may uh, concern the most. So the first one is configuration language and syntax. So, uh, uh, so that we can, uh, every, uh, I think most users want to have more powerful, uh, expressive, and flexible configuration languages. And the second uh, one is the user interface and experience, experience which I think uh, should be critical for any software adoption. And the third one is the state management, uh, which I think is an important thing in the telephone system. The following are the, the pro provider framework and integration with external tools like CICD and then uh, the model system and et cetera. So, so this is uh, the, what, what users, telephone users or in the future maybe open tofu users would expect in, in the, the domains. <coughs> now if we try to do some uh, sentiment analysis on those uh, open issues, we can see that there are some, although not a large portion uh, of them, are marked as negative. So I think as the uh, Open Tofu committee, we can check those uh, negative issues to see if there is anything that uh, yet to be resolved and if we can find some solution there. So uh, these are my humble ideas to open discussions. And let me put one sentence to end. Open tofu is young, so let's uh, help it grow. Okay, thank you. Uh, if, if you have any feedback, just uh, scan it and, 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 and input your feedback. Okay, thanks. Good work.